Oh, just a tough, gritty win. Uh, Cornell's a good football team, and, and if they stay healthy, that'll bear itself out over the course of the schedule. Uh, their quarterback is, is really a sensational young player, Dalton Banks. And uh, boy, he can sling it around, big, strong kid. And for us, it all starts with defense. I say that every week. And what a magnificent effort by our defensive coaches. Um, that's a team that uh, you know can score points. It's a team that uh, you, know, you sort of got to be on your game every snap because they, they're so good at throwing the deep ball. And uh, the, the turnovers were huge today. The takeaways were huge. Offensively, it wasn't pretty. We saw a lot of different looks, a ton of blitz looks. They did a terrific job. Uh, but we basically did what we had to do to, to get a win today, a, a gritty win. Very satisfying. <clears throat> Come on in, guys. We've got Samar Smith, Tanner Lee, and Anthony Furkser. <laughs> Good job, Valley. Uh, yeah, we knew they'd play a lot of man. In fact, the last conversation Joe and I had, I think, this morning, I said, Joe, um, you know, we hit a few corner balls or, uh, or have a scissors or any, a deep ball, and I guarantee you they're going to come back and try to give us small windows and play man to man underneath. And they, they did even more so than we thought they would. And uh, you know we dinged and dunged the ball up the field uh, enough to convert some drives. But um, I thought Joe uh, and the offense really just battled really well. It was a heavy blitz imaginal. Uh, Joe got us uh, into the right protection uh, most of the time, which is re really hard to do. And uh, Ferk, Justice, and, and uh, Jake Barron as a couple of examples. Joey, you know, all made some big plays just to keep moving the chains. <clears throat> Coach, obviously, the young team lost a lot of talent. We talked about this. Uh, you're the only undefeated team left in the Ivy League. I'm wondering if this team is matching our expectations. Mm. Or well, we, we, we've established that we're a gritty team. And that's the first thing when you have a young, inexperienced team without as, without as many quote unquote stars. and. Uh, so now, you know, they know if they work hard enough, we, we can be in every game. Um, and there's going to be a lot of really challenging games because everybody's pretty good. And uh, there'll be a lot of games like this. There'll be games tougher than this. But uh, yeah, from a character standpoint, we're real pleased. So uh, we have this thing. In the, in the defensive backs, uh, within the defensive backs, it's called knuckleheads. And uh, whenever we do this, um, we kind of, it's like a, almost like a group type thing. Um, as freshmen, we came in, we would always make mistakes, and Coach Carl would be like, knucklehead, knucklehead, knucklehead. And uh, that's how we got that. So we just kind of kept it rolling, kind of made a little sign. So every time you know, we make a play, we, we happen to do that often. First start of your career, interception day, uh, just kind of the right place at the right time? or? Um, I think it's just I made the plays I was supposed to make. Um, also, also missed a couple as well. So, a lot of things to get better at. Um, you know, two picks just because Coach Walker's put me in the right spot. So. Yeah, a lot of the times we have. It's usually like we're going to press it forward. But a lot of the times we, we like to backdoor, as they would say, as the cutback, that's what everybody sees. It's just that's the way our line blocks it up, and they do such a great job at it that it makes it almost too easy. To Joe, defense gets the interception, first play of the game. How much confidence does that give your offense getting the ball with six yards to go against the first goal? Yeah, uh, obviously, great way to start the game. Defense putting us in an, an unbelievable spot. Um, so, I mean, obviously, we just got to get a few yards there, all thanks to the defense, but it's a good way to start the game. Coach, talk about this a little bit, but a lot of sort of shorter plays. Uh, I, mean, I guess I'm wondering how, how much discipline it takes to sort of not try and go for something longer to sort of be okay with these sort of shorter plays, but, but not making a mistake while doing that. Yeah. Um, I mean, kind of like we said, they run a lot of different defense. Today, they're bringing a lot of different pressures. So, it's kind of just trying to get the ball out quick. Um, get it to our skilled guys, let them make plays. But, I mean, 
it's not really that difficult to just kind of accept taking shorter throws because we have the type of athletes that throw a three-yard throw, they can bust it for a long one, so. Well, it all starts up front, and uh, the strength of our team probably overall is having a veteran defensive line. When you look at guys like Doug Webb, James DeBerg, Langston Ward, and the youngster, uh, DJ Bailey, uh, we rotated eight guys through the whole game, and that was where it started. Uh, we did a great job with the defensive line. definitely starts with um, Coach Murph's mentality. I mean, every time he talks to us, he talks about finishing every play, every block, every route. And I mean, our receivers and our tight ends know that when a guy has the ball in his hand, we're trying to get the most yards we can out of every opportunity that we get. So just blocking downfield is built into the mindset of all our receivers and tight ends. hard to compare like teams from the past. Just, I mean, there's just a different like, style of play, different personality on each type of team. But I just think we have just uh, guys are just working hard in every play that they're in. That they're giving their all for whatever their job is on the team. And I think it's just coming together well as the start of the season. Hopefully it continues.